and there we go we are installing the OCS inventory agent on the machine we are going to install it on this very same machine okay let's go click next okay through this dialog box you're just going to agree nothing to be modified you just go next and then the only thing you change is that uh, server URL where you would put in the IP address but if it, this is in a production environment or in a domain environment you would ideally want to put in your DNS uh, server name in there okay reason being that uh, sometimes IP addresses changed uh, they, they change in the environment so you don't want to go and modify that uh, for a thousand machines that you've already installed so ideally make sure there's a domain name in um, already set in there okay and that should be it it's quite quick to install the moment we hit finish in most cases it will take a few seconds and then um, update the server with uh, the information okay you'll see there's nothing in there but just before we test it i'm gonna actually do a manual run that will immediately send through updates to the uh, server and then you'll see that zero under machines will be one okay let's go under computers there it is you'll see the machine is already in there uh, go to ocs again you'll see now there's one machine and then it's running windows and then what I will do now is uh, actually install it on uh, my Android uh, phone. So I'll head on to the Play Store and actually download the agent. So this is the nice thing about it. You can actually install this on all devices, uh, including iOS devices that are actually on, um, you know, that interact with your network. So if they, these are compu com uh, co uh, co um, computers or you know phones whatever devices that belong to the company you can install the software on it and it will just keep on reporting and what you can do is then place the server in a cloud environment where it's accessible through the internet and you just put in the dns name and then um, a person doesn't have to be physically on the network as long as they've got internet access ocs will keep on reporting so there we go now we've got uh two and it says mobile and you can see that it's a one plus and it's running android so that's how um ocs works in a nutshell thank you